warm welcome to all of you. A warm namaste from me, Ashish in India, and uh, uh, happy that all of you are joining for this disciplined, agile uh, coaching fundamentals webinar. Uh, it's something which I have been doing for on a monthly basis and talking about a little bit about agile coaching, value streams, and disciplined agile. And uh, you no, know, I have been taking this. Uh, uh, talking about disciplined agile, trying to be an evangelist, but trying to be as as neutral as possible, given the plethora of applications that we have today in agility. So I'm going to talk about uh, you know some bits about more about what is an agile coach than disciplined agile, and then I'm going to talk about how it helps organizations and teams. So welcome once again all um, for this webinar. People are joining. Okay, uh, I would like to you know go through my profile. Okay, and uh, you no, know, I have been uh, one of the instructors for disciplined agile coach and value stream. Uh, very proud that I am one of the first in India and this part of the world. Okay, there are I think 15 instructors. Uh, I'm one of them. Uh, uh, for both, I think the DSC and DVCI, there are only five or six in the world. So I'm one of them, and I'm proudly associated with Pro Thoughts. Uh, <coughs> no, so I I have I have done a lot of certifications, and that's being I'm a big proponent of that. It has helped me in my career, and um, I love this topic of project management and disciplined agile and um, that's how i'm here in front of you doing this webinar so great so i can see some people joining uh, so great <coughs> uh, see you um, I, I i just had a little kind of a cuff like i said for new people joining uh, no it's a change of weather in india also a little bit of under the weather uh, but this is a little bit about myself and what I'm going to talk about uh, today um, is you know, the current context of the things and, and how I have some statistics about Agile Coach. And then I'm going to talk about what is this coaching fundamentals, what is disciplined Agile, and um, you know, talk more about that as we go along. Right. Okay. So thank you once again for joining as people are joining. Okay. Uh, no, many people joined between 8 to 8, 10, okay, and that's how I see a lot of momentum happening. So I see some people already joining. Thank you for joining all of you. So one of the things, guys, uh, no, what we believe, okay, today, the current context of things, of large organizations, uh, no, we, we, we call them a complex adaptive system right okay why we call it a complex adaptive system like there are multiple teams in the organization who are talking with each other there are dependencies between the teams they interact between the teams so i'm not only talking of development and operations no uh, in your teams there can be maybe a product management team there can be a marketing team there can be a legal team so you interact for what you are working on depends okay a lot of interactions happen within or between the teams right so this is a a, a huge system and it can actually sometimes you can <coughs> sorry you can see a butterfly effect as well something happening below the team it can ruffle the organization as well okay so 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 it's a complex system so when I say it's a complex adaptive system, uh, we cannot see always every aspect of the system. You cannot extensively, explicitly define the relationships between in the system, between the various teams in the system. Some relationships may not be visible at all, right? So when a coach or any scrum master or when you are approaching a, a particular system from outside, you may not see every aspect of the system. 
as a coach you know generally when i go okay uh, you no know, we take a decision the idea of the coach is to solve a problem or problems we cannot anticipate what is the effect of our decisions will be. so we when we take the solution it may be a positive it may not be a positive uh, impact of our decision making of course we learn in either cases but we also because it's a complex adaptive system we cannot anticipate what will be the effect of our decisions and most importantly the decisions that we make may not remain effective over time i can uh, tell you about the spotify uh, cio okay uh, spotify is a great company and they 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 actually invented or or, or you no know, recreated a lot of agile practices within their unit and they con continuously improved their way they were working you know i'm talking in the year of 2012 to 2015 and, <clears throat> and many people started actually copying the processes they they were doing there was a public statement in on internet suggesting uh, coming from the cio suggesting that okay please do not copy us okay uh, because what we you are doing right now which is published on the net or something is is we used to do 3 years back what i'm trying to say here the decisions that we take okay may not be effective over a period of time because there might be external um, influences there might be a change in your circumstances so what decisions that apply in the current context may change so there is not a show and tell concept which is evident because this is a fast changing world in which we are operating no if we are taken 10 years back maybe the decisions we take may remain over a considerable period of time <coughs> but because the, the 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 environment in which we are working today and that's why agility has becoming more important and that's why the coach role is becoming more important is that okay the the decision making is very faster whatever decisions we are taking needs to be changed over a period of time so as a team the aspect of continuously improving should be built in the team some people call it a self organizing team the team should be able to navigate through decisions and they will not be constant with one decision for the entire project they may need to evolve their decision making so what the coach helps to do is to build a self organizing or a self improving or a self learning team i think that's the basic crux of what a coach should do in the current context of the things so if you ask me what the coach does coach comes from outside he is not within the team whereas the scrum master is within the team so the coach actually tells you what you should be doing and he is for a short term strategy is not never a long term guy but the goal of the coach is to make the team self organized given this okay what the coach does and this is very interesting which i took it okay <laughs> and when <laughs> when i was doing the research i i saw a lot of lot of places the coaches thing is not as evolved as a scrum master many organizations still uses a scrum master and a scrum master is not designed to be like a coach you need a little more competencies to be a coach it's a journey from a scrum master to a coach i did a webinar how a scrum master is distinctly different from a coach but today in a fast changing world where you no know, the the pandemic has certainly accelerated the way we work now okay today many organizations need agility and when you need agility okay what many people do need or many teams or many organizations do need more than the scrum master they need coaches right so this is one of the agile report which is 16 state agile report i think 2022 uh, where they said okay the organization if they use agility 
it can actually lead to a drastic improvement in all of these factors. And to do that, rather than a scrum master, you need coach. Okay. Okay. The challenges many coaches face, and that's where now again there is a context on what I am going to present. If you see the most difficult challenge is to change the mindset. I will not call it a culture because agile is the way you do things. Okay. Agile is not a framework. <coughs> agile is never a framework. Agile is not scrum. Agile is not safe. Agile is not disciplined agile. Okay. There are no agile is the way you do things. The idea of agile is to deliver value sooner. You can use by your own method, okay, like Japanese Kaizen or whatsoever. Now we have packaged that as agile. We are using Scrum as a very common method. We use agile, but the idea of okay, where okay, why organization needs coaches is that this is the basic thing, the way people think. And because the way people think, that's what is the basic impact the agile coaches do. And when I say mindset, repetition is a key technique in a mindset, okay, which I use in many organizations. So it's a it's a it's a process to do that. But these are certain things that you need to know. So okay, these are different. Okay, why organizations need coaches? Why why this this transformation fail? right okay so there are many reasons for that and this is through a, a a a very valid report on that but i'm not going to go through that for now but i'm going to establish the fact that today many organizations do need coaches right do need agile coach and i want to actually suggest okay uh, no i don't know whether pmi preempted the pandemic but PMI definitely okay studied the landscape and they selected disciplined agile basically because disciplined agile is designed to make you a coach. Disciplined agile was invented okay or created in 2012 <coughs> legally by Scott Ambler and Mark Line, and they had a journey of Shuhari, okay, beginner and you no. Know, that that journey that went to the master level the idea was to make you a coach by making you okay aware of a lot of practices strategies that discipline agile provides and equip you to with an arsenal of ammunition that you can use as a coach <coughs> whereas many others okay which are there in the market make you a scrum master and that's a huge difference okay so disciplined agile is designed to make you a coach and there is a journey to make you a coach a coach is like a very wise experienced person okay uh, who can use having multiple repertoire in terms of skills communication soft skills and hard skills and uses disciplined agile why you call him a disciplined agile coach he uses the disciplined agile toolkit to make things more effective so so the idea of okay uh, uh disciplined agile was to make you a coach and this fantastically fits well and that's how pmi has acquired uh disciplined agile now they need to impress on a lot of organizations that coach is different from scrum master etc so i i i wanted to tell you <laughs> what a coach does and uh, no, may, many people might be knowing about that, and I'm open to question and answers. Okay, this is definitely uh, no. Many people do suggest my interpretation as well. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, coaches, okay, it's not a show and tell. They never give a pointed solution. Coaches never tell you that you should do X, Y, Z okay in fact they empower people or make people ready when i say make people self-organizing okay the idea is that the team should take the decisions on what to do okay because one decision cannot remain effective over a period of time so i want rather the team to be effective to make decisions so 
idea of coach is to make the team okay effective so that they can make their own decisions they can suggest how to make decisions what is the process of doing things they can mentor they can guide they can you know provide guidance as and when required but it's a short term strategy right so coaches okay is is not a show and tell he's not an expert from outside who comes for a pointed solution sometimes when we are stuck in any situation we call an expert who comes with his a lot of knowledge and he provides a, a solution where people work that's not what a coach is coaches are to make teams more effective why so that they can actually provide better outcomes more effective outcomes over a consistent period of time you are leveling the team up right so that's what the coaches do and the disciplined agile coach okay the difference between a agile coach and a disciplined agile coach is that the disciplined agile coach uses the disciplined agile toolkit and the knowledge a plethora of knowledge okay to okay improve agility for the organization or to improve the wow the way of working okay or to make teams more effective by applying the mindset of discipline agile and the toolkit which has extensive strategies so this is the difference between a coach and a discipline agile we sometimes call that guy a super power of dva coach you know we call it super coach okay idea is that he uses that extensive knowledge which is like you know somebody when i was doing this class uh, you no know, of dvac last time somebody recommended oh discipline agile looks like a uh, chat gpt okay i think that was a great analogy where you know the chat gpt actually aggregates a lot of information and provides their own take on what can be the possible solution uh it's a great analogy exactly it's not that but the idea of disciplined agile also is understanding what you want what is your context and gives you a proper solution or a strategy in form of a choice or options that this is what can actually suit given your uh, problem area what you want to do or the context in which you are working so so disciplined agile gives you that that plenty options okay traverse over a, a, a lot of agile methods already used and provides you the right method or right strategy for the part you are working on okay the idea of doing that okay given that many many coaches may not know today uh, if you ask me uh, the demand of coaches is pretty less for or no enterprises and they would need a lot of agile coaches going that the demand will actually pent up a lot many even many leaders do not exactly know what is the difference between scrum master and agile coaches but many people would require that okay a agile coach is is really a experienced guy but if you require a lot of this experienced guys okay it will be very hard to find it will be very expensive to do that so when you do discipline agile okay you discipline agile as a toolkit provides that rich experience to the coach so that he can navigate through some complex problems so so i think it is going to solve a lot of problems for the industry in terms of the demand for coach i i see there is going to be a lot of demand for agile coach um, in the coming years that i can see so this is a little differentiator in my mind when a agile coach uses discipline agile okay and that can open up a lot of avenues and options for the coach and and help him with lot of strategies that he can apply to a team right okay these are definitely the other skill sets that complement the agile coach okay <coughs> okay um like he should be well aware of lot of practices lean agile practices that you know that are uh, really apparent okay uh, like i said he should be a very very experienced coach uh, okay um, he should be patient creative flexible recognizing that every team is unique rather than standardizing the approach 
okay uh, these are the soft skills okay i i think most of the time although the coaches are working with the teams they spend a lot of time with the leadership and therefore diplomacy and negotiation skills with the leadership is going to work pretty well for a agile coach so these are some of the complement skills i i think uh, this is not a <coughs> very important slide but it's rather important in that sense as well now this i think is pretty important so when i say uh, no a coach okay uh, one of the fundamental things of coaching is that many people think that the coach is the scrum master is at team level and the coach is at the organization level i don't think that is the way to do that okay because what i believe and at discipline agile as well okay they they think that many of the organization's problem manifest at the team level so if the organization is is having a uh you no know, a problem of uh, capacity you no know, that will manifest at the team level you don't have resources to work everything is is like um, uh, multitasking that's happening at the team level or you always run out of capacity people are working late it will manifest at the team level <coughs> okay sometimes problems do appear systemic okay at the system level but they are really felt at the team level so everything manifests at the team level okay so so idea is as the team becomes self organizing and they try to be more effective the organization will also be <coughs> more effective over a period of time so one of the myths is that the coach is focused on the organization the coach is always focused on the team to make the team self organizing self improving and self learning but the scope of the coach can go beyond the team as well right <coughs> right so idea is to work with the team but it also because you are working with the team you also tend to work with a lot of interdependent teams because a team's problem okay is also a okay because of another team so if i am working in development my problem with the development may happen because of the product management team or because of the operations team or because say of sales team <coughs> depending on <coughs> sorry <coughs> i'm sorry <coughs> just excuse me for one minute just drink a water just one second I'm I'm really sorry about the break. <clears throat> I think I'm all right now. <clears throat> yeah so what i was uh, suggesting was okay the 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 scope of agile coach okay is is definitely the teams but the the agile coach when they are working with the teams there are dependent teams okay who it interact with that team and you end up coaching the other interdependent teams as well so the, the scope definitely goes beyond that teams in the beyond that particular team i end up coaching variety of teams in the organization okay and that's how you help 
okay uh the different teams so when i do for example a disciplined agile course session and that's a very wonderful type of a session because that's the first uh workshop which i have done which has only games or experiential learning we <coughs> we did it for the pmp workshop for a corporate where we didn't have any theory no slides and only games for two days okay it's a customer training the same thing okay they had done for the discipline agile course there are only case studies test situations and as a coach how you will uh, no answer that uh, no how will approach that situation <coughs> so that's how they have actually uh, designed that workshop uh, there is a theory in terms of a pre read that you have so that that tells you that how you can approach many different teams so one scenario there is that you're working with a team in a warehouse it's not an it team they are considered and then you have a hr team who are concerned if you put some robotic machines the the hr team is concerned that it can impact the productivity of the people so you are now coaching the hr team now because there is a robotics involved you are coaching the procurement team so <coughs> So coach is working with many other teams other than the team in consideration. So that's how you can do. And many times if the coach is really nice and no experience mature, they work with a lot of people at the enterprise level during taking for the agile transformation. But the <coughs> prime target, according to me, for a coach is to make the team self-organizing or self -improving. So the idea when I say the coaching spectrum, when if you have to be as a coaching fundamental, the, 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 the idea that you have is the first you should know about yourself. Uh, so when I say about the coaching spectrum, no, the idea is that you should be aware of yourself and their Atkins coaching competency is a very good tool to understand where you stand in terms of your strengths and weaknesses as a coach. I think unless you are aware about what you are, you can't coach and go to an individual to coach. Okay. So unless you know about yourself, you can't start with that. So. That is the next part, okay, talking with the Indian. Then the next part is team. Then the value scheme. Value scheme is, of course, okay, the different teams which deliver value to, our, to the customer. And then the complete organization and talking of agile transformation. That's the spectrum I'm talking about. So this is the competency I was talking about, knowing about yourself. And this is a very fantastic thing, okay, <coughs> where... Lisa Adkins had divided the competencies of Agile coach and she has made two kind of like an X, okay, in the middle, okay, that X, okay, the, the top X, okay, is, is all about this part is all about learning Agile and Lean practices. So if I take you no know, two, you no know, big X, so this will be 20. 25%, this will be 25%, this will be 25%, this will be 25%. This will be 25 so that big X here is all about learning agile and lean practices. The more you are exposed to different agile lean practices, okay, uh, the better that you can actually apply in your you know, solving problems for your team. Then she has <laughs> she put these two parts of coaching and mentoring. And when she said coaching is about empowering people or is inspiring potential okay and 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 teaching is is having an agenda and telling them okay what is this agenda explaining that agenda so that people understand so it's about knowledge and mentoring is about guidance okay and facilitating is about okay uh no 
ensuring solutions guiding for solution ensuring the solutions are implemented mm -hmm. so this this are your competencies that you should have as a coach and the last is divided into three factions called technical business and transformation technical knowledge the domain knowledge <coughs> and transformation knowledge no agile coach will be bingo or no no agile coach will be superb in all these areas one agile coach will be very good at technical the other agile coach will be very good at mentoring so depends what is your skill set and how you can improve uh, the weaknesses through your assignments and make yourself like a overall all good all rounded agile coach okay given the competencies of <coughs> adkins coaching competency so this is all about that okay so this is your coaching competency so all of you should <coughs> to understand where you stand with this competency that's the first step of the uh uh no coaching spectrum now coming to uh disciplined agile and that's where i get pretty excited okay disciplined agile i had done enough webinars on that i had uh, one great point about discipline in agile it provides a lot of strategies it actually leverages all the strategies that are available currently in agile and <coughs> gives you in a kind of a nice goal diagram about the strategies these are encapsulated as 143 decision points 143 decision points are nothing but 143 strategies with numerous options okay choices that you need to make more than thousand okay so this strategies almost cover a lot of the project considerations that you may have for any team that you may consider the idea of the strategies is to be better at your outcomes or visibly reduce risk so within each decision point there is a agile roadmap okay helping you navigating helping you to navigate and use an option and become better at what you're doing or deliver value sooner or better that's what is achieved so this this disciplined agile toolkit is 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 revised periodically through the lean community that pmi has access to so <coughs> So the more that strategies, and that's what is the the meat of for a coach is the more the options and strategies a coach will have, it will help you to address the problem more effectively. And that's the limitation of a lot of framework or prescriptive methods. They only talk about a certain narrow approach, which may not be valid when you're facing a lot of different unique teams you need as a coach you need to have ammunition where you can actually use a lot of options a lot of strategies and maybe different from each other teams okay so this is what a, a disciplined agile coach with can actually help and significantly differentiate from a you no know, agile coach so I, I find this slide to be very effective <coughs> I this is a process which I had taken in one of the webinar. You can search that webinar on YouTube, okay? Uh, which I have taken. I just taken one slide of that, okay? And this this is how a disciplined agile coach can help you, okay? Improve your way of working. So Sorry, I'm still not sure about that. Sorry about that. Okay. So. So this okay talks about the, the model that we have a grown model. Though so every team, okay, when they diverge, okay, everyone comes with their own ideas and they diverge and come with their own ideas, and they they tell how to get things going. Uh, they come to a grown zone. They don't know how to select one idea and converge and implement that idea, right? So we we at disciplined agile okay encourage people to 
come with different ideas or solutions to a problem and they have a template where they can do an assessment of what can be the possible challenges what can be the symptoms again child competences so it's a great okay we call it a playbook of the coach you can actually assess the challenges and competency and you can now suggest what can be the opportunities on which the team can work and then make the choices in the playbook and then choose okay the right choice as per the capacity of your team and that goes in your improvement board and you start improving the areas continuously okay <clears throat> we call it engagement pre-planning okay before the planning stage we identify what we should do okay to create okay improvements for the team to effectively improve the way we work okay so this is your dsc playbook area so when i come to the disciplined agile coach workshop it talks about a lot of things and one is definitely the playbook that we are going to talk as a prime okay uh, arsenal that the, the coach will have but they talk about a lot of areas where we can actually play like talking with the leadership team um uh, no, doing a coaching agreement okay how to do a continuous improvement talking about the agile mindset a lot of things that will actually you will actually do and learn so it i think it's a very interesting workshop in that sense so what i like about the workshop is that you actually do and the the idea of the workshop is that uh the how skillful okay the instructor is to make the session more interactive if the the session is not that much interactive i think it will be a routine job of going through the workshop and not taking much out of that okay every activity then will be a mundane boring activity so the idea is how to make it interactive how to actually go through that situation okay how to play along that lines <clears throat> and if you work out that it will be pretty more interesting right so this is your like i said you no know, disciplined agile is designed to be a coach so it starts with your beginner level the agile scrum master then the intermediate level which is the senior scrum master and then it goes to the agile coach so unless you are well aware of the toolkit i don't think you should go for an agile coach but i think that's an elite certification and uh, no uh, no i i think would be in great demand in the coming future or the near future okay so that's what is the uh, discipline agile coach certification so i have done my uh you now since i'm into the certification market myself uh i have done my own bit of things here uh stacking the certification in terms of uh, low expertise or the organization's uh, no readiness to take cert you no know, implement things <coughs> no. okay so i put that csm is a good place to start uh, the only fact with the disciplined agile scrum master against the csm and uh, the disciplined agile scrum master is a good combination of lean and agile so it gives you concepts of lean which is uh, no you can actually be more flexible and uh, i think that's uh, that's a good start to reach here somewhere if you are bound to do this then there is a lot to unlearn to get here so I, we have put that things okay according to my understanding okay been appreciated pretty well by certain section of the community so this is where each certification starts any questions so far anyone has start typing in your uh, question window okay if anyone has any question uh, or questions or things to discuss okay 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 i would encourage all of you to uh, 
join uh, this LinkedIn group, I, I'm going to uh, share the ID. I'm not, I don't know whether I will. I'm typing the ID in the uh, question and answer panel. Maybe you can take it from there. Um, this is a, a great group, okay, from a certification point of view on discipline results. So anyone wants to have knowledge about that or about discipline results can join the group. It is the second largest group in the world for discipline results. So you can definitely join and <clears throat> if you are active member of discipline agile you know contributing we make them that person a collaborator who can point the questions and put the questions and communicate with the group the some of the certifications that are going to be <clears throat> done soon in the coming days okay if anyone interested okay please ping us okay uh, i'm happy to share details with you <clears throat> There is a broadcast or podcast. Uh, we are use the pro thoughts, the broadcast, okay, uh, on disciplined agile available on a lot of these channels. You can also join for that. So great, guys. So any any information that you need, okay, uh, uh, on on disciplined agile or otherwise on project management, drop a mail to info at the rate of protoss.co.in or you can visit our website protossolutions.com or you can ring us at this number and we will happy to provide you details with what you wish to have so guys i'm open to question and answers happy to take the question and answers with you Join the LinkedIn groups. Yeah, till the question and answers are coming, maybe, okay, you can <coughs> put your, uh, no, put, put your, uh, no, polls okay if you can answer the poll that i will be happy about that grateful about that so please you also know where to improve depending on your polls i will be happy to uh, get your comments as well all of you please Yeah, sure. The forecast details are okay. We will share you the forecast details. I think uh, Namita is there, so uh, we will <coughs> definitely share with all of you the forecast details. Uh, <coughs> it's not handy right now, but uh, Vijay will share the forecast details. Okay. This is also a quick vote as you are answering questioning. Okay. Any other questions which type, please answer this poll as well. Okay. Please go ahead. Any other questions from anyone? Yeah, the PDU code I will definitely share with you, Vijay and team. At the end of my session, I'm going to share the PDU code. 
uh, Chris, the the certification exam. I think uh, if you have done the D double SM, the exam in the master level is not that tough. I'm relatively speaking here with a D double SM. <coughs> Last poll from my side. <laughs> Any other questions? Happy to answer. Even I will be very happy to get connected on LinkedIn with all of you. So, if there are any questions from LinkedIn, uh, no, I I would be no available on personal. I I uh, no, I will love to answer. It happy to get connected and if there are any questions on one on one i'll happy to answer that as well okay so i will uh you no know, give you the code okay the pdu code it will also be automatically mailed to all of you who are attended the webinar if you see in the question answer panel <coughs> this is the code okay okay chris has another question what's the duration of the da coaching training it's actually 16 hours but at pro thoughts we do it over three days okay uh it's 15 hours sorry we do it over three days we have six hours on saturday sunday and three hours on friday Any other questions, guys? Okay, cool then. Okay. Uh, thank you so much then uh, for attending this webinar. And we'll keep coming with a lot of content. If you have any suggestions on some contents to get covered, we'll be happy to cover that content as well. Thank you so much for your time. Okay. And uh, please excuse me for my help today. But I hope that you like the webinar. There was some information that you can take away with you. And uh, know if there are any questions as an afterthought, you can reach out to my team or to me on my LinkedIn, and we'll be happy to answer your question. So thank you so much, and have a good day. Thank you. Bye. See you.